uh, it does seem like, I mean, uh, we're getting from multiple sources now, that North Korea is um, supplying soldiers to the Russian front in its fight with Ukraine, um, both special forces soldiers, but also just regular, regular forces. Uh, that they are being trained in uh, eastern Russia, uh, not far from the uh, North Korean border with Russia. North Korea has a small border in the northeast, in, in the east of Russia. Uh, and they're being trained in, in the east side of Russia and then uh, transported to uh, the border with Ukraine and the North Koreans will be on the ground fighting uh, for the Russians um, ag against the Ukrainians. Uh, you know, I, I don't know, from everything I know about North Korea, this represents just the fact that these people are brainwashed. Uh, 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 these soldiers do, don't know what they're fighting for, who they're fighting against, what's going on. Uh, you know, North Korea is a very isol isolated place. They, they know nothing outside of North Korea. Hopefully, some of them will use this opportunity. We heard about a hundred and something of them trying to escape. They'll use this opportunity to, to defect and to get out of North Korea, but who knows? Again, these are people who've been brainwashed since they were very little children to do this. Uh, this is a big boost. It, you know, if the numbers are, are right, we're talking about 10 to 12,000 soldiers. This is a big boost to the um, uh, Russian military. I don't know how good they are, how well trained they are, uh, but uh, again, it's, it's bodies, and that's what the Russians seem to care about. They, they view soldiers as cannon fodder. Uh, so, uh, it's a it's a big boost to the Russian army, and uh, at the same time, South Korea, tensions with South Korea and North Korea uh, uh, at at uh, really high levels, higher than we've seen in in a long time. Uh, you know, North Korea has uh, now declared South Korea as basically a, a hostile state. I think it's changed its constitution to declare South Korea a hostile state. I doubt North Korea will do anything in South Korea. South Korea has a formidable military, and it has the backing of the United States. It has a defense treaty with the United States. There are U.S. soldiers on, in stationed in South Korea. North Korea would not survive for very long, but they do have nukes, so that is something one has to watch out for. Uh, South Korea has stated that if North Korea, North Korean troops are going to fight on the side of Russia, it will start supplying weapon systems to the uh, to the Ukrainians. South Korea has some of the best weapons in the world. They have uh, phenomenal fighter planes. They have uh, some of the best uh, tanks uh, manufactured in South Korea in the world. They obviously are um, amazing. Um, they have amazing uh, drone technology, uh, you know, and, and uh, they could really help, I think, the Ukrainians on a number of different fronts. Somebody says, does South Korea have nukes? No, South Korea does not have nukes. They rely on, just like, you, like many, uh, they rely on America's kind of nuclear umbrella for protection. They don't have nukes of their own. I, I mean, I would argue that it's about time South Korea, Japan, and Taiwan got nukes. I mean, that's one way uh, to um, secure the, uh, you know, the Southeast Asia from China and, and from North Koreans is, is to provide the good guys in Southeast Asia with nukes, and that would be South Korea, Taiwan, and Singapore, and sorry, not Singapore, and uh, Japan with, uh, with nukes, and uh, that would mutually assure destruction, I think, would, would pacify uh, that part of the world. Uh, so, uh, difficult times ahead, I think, for the Ukrainians. Uh, uncertain times ahead for the South Koreans. Uh, a volatile period, a volatile era. Um, again, you know, Seoul, the, the, the city, Seoul, this massive city of, I can't tell you how many, how many millions, over 10 million people, maybe much more than over 10 million. Uh, basically within artillery range of North Korea. It could be The whole city could be destroyed. But uh, maybe Israel sold them an Iron Dome. Uh, let's hope that Israel has sold the, the South Koreans an Iron Dome and they have an Iron Dome-like system protecting uh, Seoul, um, uh, Seoul, the city.